all and welcome to hash include electronics in this video we are going to make wi-fi card using esp32 microcontroller and programmed using arduino ide we will use mechanum wheel so that car can be moved in any direction car will be controlled using our mobile phone so keep watching and i will explain you in details how to make it if you haven't subscribed yet please hit subscribe button below and press bell icon to get latest updates For making Wi-Fi car, we will need 4 TT gear motors, 4 mechanum wheels, there are L type and R type mechanum wheels so we will need 2 of each, wooden plate for car chassis, ESP32 module, L298 and motor driver module, we will need 2 pieces, breadboard, 7 to 12 volt battery, in our case LiPo 3S battery, switch, double sided tape, glue gun and few jumper wires. Let's assemble the car now. First let's solder wires to gear motors. Mount all 4 motors on car chassis using glue gun. Attach L298 and motor driver modules on car chassis using double sided tape. Mount breadboard on car chassis. Fix ESP32 module on breadboard. Attach switch for turning on and off car. This is what the car looks like from the top view. As shown, we have 4 motors as front right, back right, front left and back left motors. We will control 2 right side motors using right side L298 motor driver module and 2 left side motors with left side motor driver module. Now let's make a connection as per circuit diagram. Connect gear motors to L298 motor driver module. Right side motors will be connected to right side motor driver module and left side motors will be connected to left side motor driver module. Solder DC battery connector to switch and connect to motor driver modules plus 12 volt pin and ground. Connect L298 and motor driver modules to ESP32 pins. We will take plus 5 volt from right side L298 and motor driver module and provide to ESP32 V in pin. Attach wheels to car now. Place the battery using double sided tape. Let's take a quick look at the code. First we need to install ESP32 board using Arduino board manager. I have provided the ESP32 board link in the description below. Go to preferences and add the ESP32 board link. Then go to boards manager and search for ESP32 and install it. After that we need to install the async TCB library as well. I have provided the link in the description below. For more information on ESP32, please check my video where I have explained in details about it. Now we need to include the async TCP library and async web server library as well. This code can work for both ESP32 as well as ESP8266. Then we have defined the values for car movement. After that we defined the 4 motor numbers. Define forward and backward movement constants. We have created a structure to store in one and in two pins for each motor control. Then we have created a vector which is array called as motor pins to store the pins for all four motors. You can change the pins if you want to use other pins. We have defined the SSID and password for our ESP32 Wi-Fi. We have created web server at port number 80. We will be using WebSocket for communication over Wi-Fi. Then we have created HTML page for our car control app and stored it in HTML homepage variable. This is main page which will be displayed on mobile and it has all buttons to control the car. When any control is pressed on mobile, it will send particular number to ESP32 using WebSocket. 
we have created rotate motor function which takes motor number and direction as arguments it will rotate motor in forward or backward direction it will also stop motor if stop command is passed then we have process car movement function which takes command for car movement as argument it will move the car based on commands like up down left right etc we have handle root function which will send html page when we type ip address on mobile browser we have on web socket event callback function which will be called when esp32 receives any data from mobile on receiving ws event data we will call process car movement function to move the car accordingly we have created setup pin mode functions to set up motor pins as output inside setup function we will call setup pin mode function then begin wifi using soft ap mode setup callback function on root and on not found then attach the web socket handler to web server now begin the wifi server inside loop function we just need to call cleanup clients function to clean up old clients connection i have provided the link to the code in the description below you can upload it directly now let's upload the code Select board as ESP32 rover module and hit upload. Now switch on the car. Go to Wi-Fi settings and connect to my Wi-Fi car SSID using password as 12345678. Open Google Chrome browser on mobile and type 192.168.4.1. It will open our Wi-Fi car control app. That's it. Let's see how it works now. Hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Stay safe and please like, share and subscribe to my channel.